Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, uh, I would like to continue about our uh, estimations for earnings management, discretionary accruals as a proxy for earnings management. We will try now to estimate Jones model 1991. Uh, let's have a look at this model. To calculate this model, we need uh, four main parts or four main terms. Uh, total accruals divided by uh, lagged total assets, one divided by lagged total assets, uh, uh, delta revenues uh, divided by lagged total assets, property plants and equipments divided by lagged total assets. Let's go to Stata. Uh, in the last video, we already uh, calculated uh, delta revenues and we already uh, calculated the lagged value of total assets we have uh, cash flow from operating activities we have debt income we can calculate these four parts to estimate earnings management using jones model 1991 uh, let's start by the first one which is total accruals divided by uh, total assets. Go to Stata. Uh, we use, always we use uh, the, the command generate to generate, uh, to uh, create a new variable, which is, let's see, let's call it like part one, part, let's call it part, sorry, part one, equal uh, total accruals total accruals can be calculated uh, by subtracting uh, cash flow from writing activities from uh, net income which is between brackets uh, net income minus cash flow from operating activities divided by out of the brackets divided by lagged total assets now we calculated we calculated part one let's calculate the part two part two is one divided by total assets generate Part two, part two, well, one divided by like total assets. We generated the second part very easy. Let's generate part three equal, which is part three. Part three is uh, delta revenues divided by lagged like, total assets. Delta REV revenues divided by lagged like, total assets. There's a mistake. We forgot to write. Right. Now it's calculated. The last one is property plants and equipment divided by total s part uh, three generate part three equal pbt divided by lag total assets lag total assets has been calculated as well now let's have a look again total accruals this is our dependent variable and these are three here our uh, independent variables our explanatory variables for estimating uh, discretionary accruals we run this regression we run this regression we we regress uh, total accruals on these independent variables and earnings management will be the residuals here 
because this uh, this item is total accruals equal discretionary accruals and non-discretionary accruals these three explanatory variables represent non-discretionary accruals and uh, the residuals rep represents uh, the discretionary accruals now we should calculate the residuals For calculating the residuals, we should run uh, the regression. The regression, we should regress our dependent variable first. Uh, to run any regression in Stata, just write R E G reg. The first three letters of uh, the word generate. Uh, sorry, the, the word reg regression or regress. Uh, generate part one. Part three, part four, one, two, three, four. Part one, part two, part three, part four. Uh, we should uh, run this regression, but there's a very important thing. Very important thing is to write the word no constant, constant, no constant, because our constant is already exists. Because this is the constant, this is the constant of uh, our model or uh, John's model. Now we can run uh, this regression. Now we run the regression, and we should, after running the regression, we should uh, save the residuals. We can save the residuals from this command here. Uh, firstly, uh, let's let's generate. Uh, a variable, uh, new variable here. Uh, we we call this uh, variable uh, discretionary accruals, uh, and after that we predict the residuals. Predict r comma residuals, r e s i d. After that we replace r by uh, d a c c. We replace r by d a c c and we drop r let's run these commands from here they are done now let's go let's go to our data browser you can see here we Generated three parts: part one, part two, part three. Part oh, we we run part three uh, twice. And how did we do in the regression? One, two, three. There is a mistake here. But our calculations are correct. We can uh, adjust uh, just this one here. Part, part three was already defined. Let's adjust this one here. Part four, part four. And then we adjust this one like part three. Part three. Now uh, we calculated part one, part two, part three, part four, uh, and we run the regression. We uh, estimated or we saved uh, the residuals. The residuals, uh, uh, the residuals are our uh, discretionary accruals, which are our proxy for earning management. You can use uh, this column here to uh, a new data, a new data set uh, as dependent variable or independent variable uh, according to your study. And uh, also, just one thing which I would like to mention here, uh, that you can <clears throat> calculate also the absolute value of discretionary accruals, which is uh, Generate absolute value of discretionary accruals equal absolute value between brackets and 
discretionary account we can now go to our data browser we have uh, discretionary accruals we have non discre uh, we have uh, discretionary accruals this is uh, the actual values uh, and we have none uh, we have the discretionary accruals uh, the absolute value of discretionary accruals they are uh, the same but here all are positive here are positive and negative uh, values uh, thank you for watching and i hope uh, this video was uh, helpful uh, for some of you and uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh